first saw the new Seat Ibiza Cupra at the 2015 IAA in Frankfurt, and we've been desperate to give it a try ever since. It's billed as being faster, more powerful, and more stylish, and Seat say they've achieved all of that without any compromises at all. Are they right? Let's find out. The first generation of the Ibiza Cupra to hit the roads arrived in 1996, but a lot's changed since then. Nearly 20 years on, the small car has evolved into one of the most popular little powerhouses on the road. Seat are already rumored to be working on a complete redesign of the car in time for launch in 2017. So, this is primarily a facelift. But don't let that put you off. Not much has been changed with the exterior styling, which pretty much everybody agreed was fantastic from the previous model, but it has been sharpened here and there. We have new LED headlights at the front and really great 17-inch alloy wheels to set the style off. At the rear, we have large rear diffusers and a twin exhaust pipe in the middle that really make the car feel muscular and sit nicely on the road. The inside of the car feels clean and fresh. A lot of attention has been paid here to making everything being stylish and uncluttered. It looks very similar to the Leon Cupra and has some really nice styling details, like these new air vents, a larger display, a new steering wheel, and of course, a new gear stick. But more on that later. All that power being delivered to the front all at once means that you really benefit from the XDS. It makes sure the power is beautifully controlled, so when you put your foot down and call on it, there's no slip at all. Well, the last Ibiza Cupra was no slouch, but this one has an extra 12 brake horsepower and an extra 70 newton meters of torque, and when you put those two things together, what you get is a lot more fun. The real changes that have taken place are here with the engine. The Cupra comes with a 1.8-litre TSI petrol engine that now produces 189 brake horsepower. That's 12 horsepower more than the previous model, but wait, it also has an extra 70 newton meters of torque, and that's a lot of power to deliver to the front wheels. So, to compensate, Seat have fitted the car with a new electronic differential, or XDS. That should help to make sure that all the power goes exactly where you want it to. Let's find out how it works. The new engine features a direct and an indirect fuel injection system which is particularly helpful in lowering emissions and fuel consumption. Combined, they give the Ibiza Cupra a powerful sprint time of just 6.7 seconds for 100 km per hour and a top speed of 235, while still maintaining a fuel efficiency figure that Seat says is just 6 litres. Although we didn't manage to achieve anything like that during our testing. But let's be honest. We're not going to spend all of our time with this car driving it fast and hard around mountain roads. So how is it going to handle with everyday driving to the shops and around town? Well, we have driven this car through Barcelona rush hour traffic, which is no picnic, I can tell you. The answer is satisfyingly great. The car, although it's designed for sporty driving, also handles really nicely at lower speeds. The gear change is smooth and the ride is comfortable. These seats are great, well enough for sports driving, but are also comfortable enough for longer drives. We also have a brand new infotainment system, which has full connectivity with modern smartphones. It includes Apple CarPlay and MirrorLink, which means you can access all of your compatible apps, which is great on longer drives. The new Ibiza Cupra also comes well equipped with a standard safety package that includes hill start assist, multi-collision brake tire pressure warning and driver drowsiness warning. So, does the Ibiza Cupra meet all of the high hopes that we had for this little car? It's faster, it's more stylish, it's more powerful, it still produces the same low fuel consumption and all at a low price. We say absolutely yes. <laughs>